Okay, so we have few seconds left. We're gonna start soon. So let's get settled down. Jai Shri Krishna. Good morning, everybody. Let close the eyes. Bring hands in Dhyan Mudra. Relax the shoulders. Back straight. We will chant three long omkars followed by the opening prayer. Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejasvinavati Tamastumavidvishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Keep the eyes closed, join the hands and back of the body. Bow down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Inhale, come back up. Rub the palms against each other. Generate Urja. Flex the warm hands over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Fingers crossed over the forehead. Open and close eyes few times in dark. Slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes. And we can start with upper body warm up first. Waist and above, we will try to cover as many as body parts, joints, muscles. Alternate few times. Make tight fist and release the fingers. When we release, just spread the fingers far apart. We can still keep our palm. 90 degree now bring keep the thumbs inside make tight fist and roll them forward few times try to keep the arms parallel to the floor elbows straight and reverse the direction Now try to bend at all the knuckle joints. Not making fist, but we are just holding at all the knuckle joints just like scorpion. And feel the minor, some bearable sensation. Okay, now swing the folded arms, inhale up, exhale down, connect all the fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And sideways few times. Now hold all the fingers together over the shoulders and make a biggest circle possible with folded arms. Inhale upward, exhale downward. Elbows touch once every rotation. And reverse the direction. So 
So whenever we don't need to look at the screen, just try to keep the eyes closed and keep the awareness inward. Now relax. Extend both hands sideways. Palms facing down. Now face the palms towards back. As we inhale, turn them all the way up. Facing ceiling, exhale, down and back. Inhale, down and up. Few times, deep inhale, deep exhale. Try to keep the arms straight, parallel to the floor. And relax. Now inhale, raise both hands up, exhale, twist the upper body onto the one side, look back, align the chin with the shoulder, keep pushing the knee forward, inhale, come back, exhale, towards the second side, feel the full twist at the waist muscles, come back, second round, and complete onto the second side. Come back and interlock the fingers, place the palms over the forehead, deep inhale, hold the breath as we push the head and palms against each other. Release the breath, release the palm from back of the head, push the elbows towards backward, one more time, front of the head and back of the head. And from both the sides, side of the head. This will release the physical tension around neck and shoulder region two times. Continue with neck region, just look straight. Deep inhale. As we exhale, just turn the head towards right side. Align chin with the right shoulder. Look at the farthest point on the back. Feel the full twist at the neck muscles. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Turn the head towards left. Try to stay at least five seconds. While hold the breath out. Then inhale, come back to center one more time. Both the sides. Try not to move the shoulders, trunk, legs. Just neck and head. Come back and complete on the second side. Okay, come back and we will tilt the head onto the one side. We can just bring the hand onto the opposite side of the head. Fully exhale as we tilt the head onto the shoulder. We can just put a little bit weight of the hand. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Inhale, come back. Exhale onto the second side. And feel some extension on the side of the neck. Second time. And complete on the second side. Come back. Next, waist and below. The light exercise, Sukshma Dayam. Warm up, waist and below. Bring both palms beside the hips, both legs straight, knees straight. We can lean slightly forward as we pull toes towards the body for a few seconds. Then squeeze and release all the toes. You can do in waves or you can do all at once. Now as we inhale, push them together forward, exhale, pull them back, 
both the feet together, inhale forward, exhale back, few times, then few times alternate, now holding the heels together, toes together, circle the toes around the heels, try to make the biggest circle possible not to bend at the knees, reverse the direction, okay, relax, now fold at the right knee and we'll do Shishu Palanasan, with both the hands grab the folded right leg as we inhale, just push the leg all the way towards the right, exhale, bring it back and we can just pull it towards on the, to the left side as much as possible. Inhale all the way towards the right and fill the right hip, that area is opening. Second time and complete the three rounds. Now slowly relax, put the left foot, uh, right foot onto the right thigh, interlock the left fingers with the right toes, keep pushing the right knee down to the floor. I may have mixed up in right and left, don't worry about that, you know what it is. Create the spring action, increase the blood circulations into the hip joint. Now, bring the right knee at the chin, inhale, push it down to the floor, hold there for a couple of seconds, exhale, bring it to the chin, couple more times. And straighten the right leg. Now, Shishu Paranasan onto the left leg, inhale, push the folded left leg all the way towards left, exhale, bring it back onto the right as much as possible, second time, and third time. Then rest the left foot onto the right thigh, interlock the left toes with the right fingers and push the left knee down to the floor, create the spring action, right leg remains straight, right toes pointed towards the front wall, now bring knee to the chin, inhale, push it down, exhale, bring it to the chin, couple more times. and straighten both the legs, bring both palms slightly at the back, lean backward a little bit, separate both the feet probably one to two feet apart and try to roll the toes in and out, keeping the knee straight, feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. Okay. And fold at both the knees. Continue onto the hip joint. We'll do Titliyasan butterfly pose. Press the fingers over the toes. Thumbs will go under the big toes. Inhale, raise knees all the way up. Exhale down. Couple of times. Then we can speed up. Flap the knees up and down, try to keep the back straight if possible or as much as possible, ok, 
Okay, now stop flapping and pull the heels inward. So bring the heels closer to the perineum. Hold the toes tightly, back straight. Keep pressing the knees down and hold the pressure. Close the eyes. Now pay attention into the stretches at the hip joints. Now deeply inhale and hold the breath in lower abdomen. And now observe the, the difference. The stretches will be a little bit more. Hold the breath for about 7 seconds, then breathe out. Breathe in again and hold. During the breath holding time, make sure the back remains straight. Knees are pressed down. So do two to three more rounds, do with breath coordination, do with your own pace. So this is Bhadda, Bhaddasan or Bhadrasan. And complete the last round. Okay, if you're done, then we can roll the body side by side. Try to bring knees all the way to the floor. And keep pushing the body a little bit away from the heels. So make some space in between the heels and perineum. We will do Bhadda Konasan next. Grab the toes tightly, align the head, neck and trunk, deep inhale, as we deep exhale, bend down, we can bring the forehead onto the toes. Inhale, come back up, second round, we will do even more effectively, more efficiently, try to pull the upper body away from the hips. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, bend down and also try to push the shin bone backward with help of the elbows so we can bring our chin onto the toes. We can inhale exhale normal in a pose but each time exhale just keep on pushing the head and trunk down. Inhale, come back up and sit in a cross leg posture. Bring both hands sideways, drop the one palm onto the floor. Inhale, raise the other hand up. Exhale, bend towards one side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. Inhale, come back. Second round. Come back and complete onto the second side. Come back. And next we'll do Pranayam, bring both hands into Dhyan Mudra. You can first sit into any comfortable sitting posture. You can sit into um, Padmasan, Lotus pose, half or full, Swastikasan, Siddhasan, whichever comforts you. But try to keep the back straight, both hands on the side. We will do Parvatasan with full awareness. As we breathe in, bring both hands together in front of the chest at Anahata Chakra. Exhale, inhale again, place both hands on top of the head at Sahasrara Chakra, exhale, now deeply inhale, extend both palms all the way up over the head, elbows are straight, our trunk 
and arms are stretched upward. We can inhale, exhale in a pose, but as soon as we start lowering the hands down, we should do one big longer exhalation as we bring the hands onto the head and the chest and all the way down. So three inhalation and one exhalation. So let's do, so what I mean three inhalation is three breathe in and breathe out going upward and one exhalation coming back. Let's do two more times, do with your own pace, do with breath coordination with full awareness. Okay, once done, then connect the first fingertip and thumb tip together and extend both hands forward. Bring the hands at the level of the shoulder, back straight, close the eyes. We will do Bhastrika Pranayam as we deep breathe in, start separating both hands away from each other. Coordinate with the breath such a way that by the time we are fully breathed in, hold the breath while we can bring both hands all the way, part this point in the back, hold there for a couple of seconds, as we exhale, start bringing both hands together in front of the chest, I mean in front, hold the breath out for two seconds, then breathe in, so keep on doing, maintain the speed or the movements of the hands according to the breathing speed. Feel that each inhalation we are becoming more and more fresh, more and more energetic. Each exhalation our body get relaxed, throwing up all the negative emotions, negative energy. complete the last round if you are being, bringing both hands together then just complete it and relax next we will do kapalbhati pranayam bring both hands into vayu mudra roll first fingertip into root of thumb relax them now our goal is to forcefully breathe out and let the body get some air back automatically. We don't need to worry about inhalation. Body will automatically take it. Our goal is to throw the breath out. And frequency we can keep as per our comfort level. Okay, breathe in and out normal. Next, 
open up the palms toward the ceiling for 10 seconds till the head up close the eyes completely still the body we can keep awareness in between the eyebrows sit in sambhavi mudra just for 10 seconds We can feel energy, let them absorb into the body, feel the vibrations, let them come down, come back. So I say 10 seconds, but it was more than that. But by the time I say that, it was 10 seconds already. Next, we'll do another pranayam, powerful pranayam, bhastrika pranayam. Inhale, raise both hands up, exhale down. We add some force. If you have blood pressure issue, heart problem, do it slowly or don't do it too much. Relax, breathe in and out normal. Again, open up the palms towards the ceiling just for 10 seconds in Sambhavi Mudra. And come back. Now let's do some stretches. Separate the feet far apart, knees straight, legs are fully grounded. Inhale, raise both hands up, look up. We will do Upavishta Konasan, fully exhale as we bend down, grab the feet right to right, left to left and keeping the head and trunk aligned, let's push them together, closer to the floor. Inhale, come back up, second round, Upavishta Konasan, fully exhale. Bend down completely. We can stay longer in a pose. Inhale, exhale normal, but each time we exhale, keep on pushing the trunk and head further down. Inhale, come back up. Now turn the shoulder blade towards the right side. Fully exhale, bend down, so forehead onto the right knee and grab the right foot with both hands equally. Inhale, come back up towards left side. Inhale, come back up. Now fold at the left knee. Bring the left heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the right leg. Inhale, raise both hands up. Now we will do Janu Sirsasan. Fully exhale. Bend down. Bring the forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, exhale normal. With each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the head and trunk down. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Okay, and bring the right hand forward, palm facing ceiling. Then grab the right big toe with the right hand. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, Bend down onto the right leg and bring the left hand also onto the right toe. Keep looking up into the ceiling or at least corner of the ceiling. So twisted Janu Sirsasan. Come back and we will switch the leg position. Hold at the right knee, right heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg. Inhale, raise both hands up, look up. Fully exhale, bend down onto the left leg, forehead onto the left knee. 
grab the left foot equally with both the hands. Each time exhale, keep on pushing the head and trunk further down. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. And we will do twisted Janu Sirsasan onto the left side. Do with breath coordination. Keep looking up into the ceiling or at least corner of the ceiling. Come back. Okay. Next we will do Chakki Chalanasan. Interlock the fingers. Try to keep the feet the farthest distance away we can keep. Now hover around the palms over the knees and toes. We will fully exhale when we bend down. When we come back up, inhale. We can lean also slightly backward. Try to keep the knees straight all the time. Elbow straight and arm stays at the shoulder level all the time, parallel to the floor. Three to four circles in one direction, then three to four circles into reverse direction. Feel the stretches, extensions, compressions into the pelvis region, waist area, hip joints. Okay, once done, then relax, bring both legs together, align the feet. We will do Paschimottanasana next. Inhale, raise both hands up. We can lean even slightly backward as we deep inhale. Deeply exhale, bend forward, tuck the stomach inward. There is the Uddiyan Band. Grab the feet. Hold the breath out. As long as you can keep the breath out, keep on pushing the head down closer to the knees. Then inhale, come back up. Second round. Tuck the stomach in and keep pushing the head down to the knees. Inhale, come back up. And next we will do complementary pose. Purva Uttarasan or the reverse plank. You can do with the folded knee, the modified version, if you are able to do this pose fully. With help of the Bring both the palms at the back. Next inhale, raise the trunk up. Keep pushing the toes down to the floor. Drop the head at the back of the body. Look into the back wall. So body will assume one straight line from back of the head to the heels. So knees straight, elbow straight. Once we stay long enough, then very slowly we can bring the body back onto the floor, sit into the L shape. Next we will do Vakrasan, hold at the right knee, bring the right foot at the left knee and bring the right palm at the back, don't bring it too far away, try to keep it as close as possible. Inhale, raise the left hand up. You can just simply hug the folded right leg and look back, exhale, or we can bring the hand around, or even we can push the right knee further towards left, we can grab the left knee, in any of these cases fully exhale and look back. Come back. And very gently transition onto the second side. 
you can do any of these version A, B or C. And I assume if you are able to do this with the full twist, you are not able to do the easy one. I mean you are not doing the easy one. Come back and we will do Gomukhasan and Ardhamachandrasan combo. So start with the Gomukhasan, fold at both the knees, both the heels, closer to the hips. Make sure the knees are closer to each other. To push this hand back further, so there is a greater chance that we can connect both hands together at the back. Once we get both hands connected, look straight at the level of the eyes. So head, neck, trunk and knees. They are all in one vertical line. Now dip inhale. As we dip exhale. And tuck the stomach in. And try to bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale come back. And now, now we transition to Ardhamachandrasan. So whichever knee is up. That side leg will just raise it up bring the foot outward of the other knee and the one hand go at the back whichever leg is up that side hand will go back up inhale raise other hand up bring it outward and try to grab the ankle fully exhale and look back so ardhamachandrasan have a much more abdominal twist compared to the regular Vakrasan. Inhale, come back. Gently switch the legs, the Gomukhasan, onto the second side. If you have difficulty connecting both hands at the back, you can use cloth napkin, belt, yoga strap or some kind of prop. If you don't want to lean forward, unable to uh, bend forward, in this pose you can just close the eyes and you can scan your body internally. Otherwise you can just dip inhale, dip exhale, tuck the stomach in and bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back up, release the hands and Ardhamachandrasan. Just move the foot outward of the other knee. And hand will go back. Raise the other hand up as we inhale. Bring it down. Push the upper knee onto the one side. Grab the ankle. Fully exhale. Look back. Come back. Okay. And we can sit in a Vajrasana. Diamond pose, thunderbolt pose. So, Wednesday's session we had lots of balancing poses. So, we try not to repeat some of them. So, let's extend one leg out we are, we are gonna stay only on a one side toes bring both hands beside the straight leg deep inhale as we deep exhale start walking the hands towards the heel of the straight leg and bending down try to bring the forehead closer to the straight knee so other knee will remain folded and over the floor, not touching the floor. Next inhalation, raise the head up and start walking both the hands 
closer, bring the foot back and switch to the second side. Slowly, deep inhale, as we exhale, start walking the hands one at a time, slowly, little by little. And we can bring the forehead closer to the straight knee. We can inhale, exhale here though, each exhalation, we can keep pushing the head further down. Next inhalation, raise the head and start walking both the hands towards the body, bring the foot back and back to Vajrasana. We can sit in Virasan for few seconds. So slide both the heels on the side and our glute muscles, sitting bones directly rested onto the floor. Try to keep the back straight though. Feel the extra extension stretches into the hamstring, knee joint, calf muscles. Come back into Vajrasan. Separate the knees few inches apart. Bring both hands forward. We will do Mandukasan frog pose. Thumbs inside. Tight fist. Deep breath in. Hold the breath in lower abdomen. Then place top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel. Forcefully exhale. And without leaving the heels, bend down the trunk and head all the way closer to the floor. When we can no longer push, them down then we can hold the trunk there and tilt the head up inhale come back up second round same sequence tight fist deep inhale hold the breath then place top of the fist at the place fully exhale bend down and tilt the head up Inhale, come back up and we will do complementary pose, Sukta Vajrasan. So you can do from the Virasan or you can sit in a Vajrasan and do it. So maybe some people more comfortable doing it from the Virasan. With help of the palms and folded elbows, we can lay down our upper body onto the floor very slowly and make sure the knees stays on the floor. You can raise both hands up and rest them onto the thighs. Supta Vadrasan or Supayan Vadrasan. Try to relax the lower back, thighs, knees, hip joints, and then feel the difference. So once we stay long enough into this pose, we need to come out of the pose, just grab the ankles, push the elbows down to the floor, and bring the body up back into a Virasan or Vajrasan. If some reason if you cannot come out of the pose, then slide onto the one side and just come back up. No need to call 911. Okay, next separate the knees far apart. We will do Shashankasan child pose. Bring both palms on the floor between the knees. Try to keep the head, neck, trunk aligned. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, start walking the hands forward one at a time, little by little. And let the trunk and head completely go down onto the floor without leaving the heels. Our 
हिल्स एंड हिप्स आर स्टिल कनेक्टेड चेस्ट एंड चिन ऑन द फ्लोर रिलैक्स द लोअर बैक रिलैक्स द हिप जॉइंट्स रिलैक्स शोल्डर्स डीप इनहेल डीप एक्सेल Next inhalation, raise the head and start walking the hands towards the body, one at a time, and let the trunk and head rise automatically. Right. And next we will do the gate pose. Extend the right leg out. as we inhale raise the left hand up exhale bend on to the right side keep on sliding the right hand along with the right leg reach out to the right ankle keep looking into the ceiling inhale come back up and we will switch on to the second side so do it slowly don't try to jerk the body parikasan gate pose and next we will do camel pose uh, let's do half camel pose today separate the knees and heels same as the shoulder width bring both hands at the waist fingertips pointing down next inhalation look up bend down look into the back wall keep pushing the pelvis forward and keep bringing both the elbows closer to each other at the back so holding this three different forces we can increase the intensity as i do count down from 10 to 1 10 9 keep pushing pelvis forward keep dropping head down keep bringing elbows together 5 4 3 2 1 slowly come back and bring both palms onto the floor on table top pose the wrist joints vertically under the shoulders and knee vertically under the hip joints look up into the wall in front as high as possible deeply inhale let's do cat and cow pose marjari asan fully exhale look at the navel try to make the spine upward arch inhale look up and try to make the spine downward arch so do two to three more times do with your own pace but do with breath coordination Okay next we can do tiger pose so stay in table top pose inhale exhale normal next inhalation kick the right foot back right toes pointing towards back wall keep looking up into the front wall inhale exhale normal relax the lower back next inhalation without dropping the knee just hold the right knee at 90 degree so now the toes pointing towards the ceiling quickly turn around and look at the pose and make any necessary correction so make sure the leg is properly bent and not tilted onto the side then continue look back again into the front wall 
Inhale, exhale, normal. Continue relaxing the lower back. Next inhalation, raise the left hand up and grab the right foot and pull the right leg up as high as possible while keep looking up into the front wall. Pull the right leg up even further. With next exhalation, slowly bring the left hand and right knee back onto the floor. Inhale, exhale, normal. Into the tabletop pose. Next inhalation, kick the left foot back. So left leg remain straight parallel to the floor while keep looking up into the front wall. Relax the lower back. With next inhalation, hold the left knee at 90 degree and knee should stay at the level of the hip, turn around, correct the posture if need to, then again look back, look up into the front wall, relax the lower back, inhale exhale normal, with next inhalation raise the right hand up and grab the left foot and pull the left leg up as high as possible. Inhale, exhale normal. With next exhalation, slowly bring the right palm and left knee back onto the floor. Back to tabletop pose and come back and we can stand, stand up, Uttishtatu, relax the legs, hands, thigh, feet. Do Tadasan, try to keep fit together. Next inhalation, raise the palms up, interlock the fingers and go on the toes. Exhale, down, feet flat on the floor, inhale, up again, on the toes. Exhale down, then we will walk on hills, make a two circles around the mat, then we will walk on the toes, two circles around the mat. Okay, next we will do Tiryak Tadasan. We can keep the feet two, three feet apart, interlock the fingers, stretch the hands up, reverse the palms, deep inhale as we deep exhale, bend onto the one side, keep looking up into the ceiling, inhale come back up, exhale onto the second side. Come back and we will just separate the feet far apart. We will do waist rotation, Kati Chakrasan. Bring both hands at the chest. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, extend one hand out and twist the upper body. 
towards one side and keep on following the palm at the back. Hold the pose about 5 seconds. Feel the pull twist at the waist muscles. And inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. Come back. Try to keep the elbows and palms at the shoulder level all the time. Second round. Come back. Now bring both hands on a sideways in a star position. Inhale. As we exhale, we'll do trikonasan. Simple triangle pose. One hand down, other hand vertically up. And look into the ceiling. So we are bent sideways. Inhale, come back. Exhale, onto the second side. Look into the ceiling through the palm which is up. Both arms are in one line, one vertical line. Come back. Next we will do triangle pose. Twisted triangle. Inhale, as we exhale, grab the big toe. With the opposite side hand, other hand will go 90 degree up. 7 seconds. And inhale, come back. Into star. Exhale. Onto the second side. Come back. And next we will do revolving triangle. As we exhale, bring the hand outward of the ankle. And other hand will go vertically up. Look into the ceiling. Straight over the head. Through the palm which is up. Come back. Onto the second side. Come back. And let's move in front of the mat and it's morning time so we are doing some Surya Namaskar for a few seconds try to relax yourself we didn't took break at all close the eyes Breathe in and out normal. Start the Surya Namaskar Mantra. And let's roll the shoulders back and down. And ready for the Surya Namaskar.
Okay, let's sit down in squatting pose. Malasan for few seconds. Rest, relax. And if you like, while we are here, you can do some more variations. This is very good variation too. We can just get into some stretches into the waist muscles. Okay, and we can go into Gorakshasan. Align both feet and toes, stays down. Can bring the hands in Dhyan Mudra. This is repeating from Wednesday though. Bring in hands into Pranam. Or we can just raise both hands up. About this, we can slide the knees closer to each other and stand up without without dropping the knees, I mean without dropping the heels on the floor until we stand. Try it. Okay, great. Let's do Virbhadrasan 1, separate the feet far apart and then one toes 90 degree out, hold at the knees, the trailing leg will remain straight, bring both hands down, our shoulder blade perpendicular to the folded leg, as we inhale, raise both hands up and arch backward, look up into the ceiling, keep pushing the pelvis, stomach area closer to the floor come back and stay into the same pose but we will do a reverse warrior so one hand onto the straight leg the other hand will go into the ceiling look up into the ceiling and come back slowly switch onto the second side Inhale, raise both hands up, look up into the ceiling. Warrior 1, Virbhadrasan 1. And come back. And reverse warrior on the same side. And come back. Next we can do Virbhadrasan 2. Again towards the other side. Hold at the knees, extend both hands parallel to the floor and keep looking towards the folded knee on a side way. Look through the palm, back of the palm. Let's chant through two Gayatri Mantra. Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonah Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonah Prachodayat Okay, and slowly transition to the second side. So I should be facing screen, so let's see how people are doing. Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Vargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonah Prachodayat Om Bhur Bhuvaha Swaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Vargo Devasya Dhimahi Dhyo Yonah Prachodayat Back Okay so it is 8.40 and let's relax a little bit and then we're gonna lay down on our stomach 
Oh, actually, let's do balance pose before we move into a different category. Let's do tree pose, Vrakshasan. Get into pose very slowly. And switch to the other side. Okay, and we can also do one more balancing pose. Uttesta hasta padangustasana. Do it slowly. Extend the leg first in the front. Then we can slide it down. We can raise the other hand up also for counterbalance. And if we still have balance, we can look onto the side way. If we still have balance, we can bring the leg forward and then down. So these weekend sessions actually, we are seriously thinking to bring back to the normal schedule, two hour schedule. Because otherwise, one and a half hour, many times we feel that is really, we are rushing. Means, not rushing in a pose, but we are not doing in a poses. So, just weekends only. Like, we can do 7.30 to 9.30. And Wednesday one, we can keep one and a half hour. It's nothing finalized yet. Okay. See, that's what happens. We cannot take break to talk, right? We need to keep talk also while doing pause because we are otherwise running out of time. Good. Let's lay down on a stomach. 10 seconds. Fully relax. This is crocodile pose, Makarasan. We can do Viparita Naukasan, extend both hands forward, stretch out the toes towards the back wall, neck inhalation, raise the hands, head, chest, chin up, pull the legs up, thighs away from the floor, and look as high as possible into the front wall. Five, four, three, two, one and lay down into Makarasan for 10 seconds. Okay, next we'll do bow pose Dhanurasan. Hold at both the knees, grab the ankles. Next inhalation, raise. The head, chest chin up and pull both legs up as high as possible. Let the body get into some rocking movements, either naturally or voluntary. Either way is beneficial as we breathe in and out, our body will rock. Beneficial so we get the internal organ massage in the abdomen area. Very slowly. Back to the crocodile pose, Makarasan. And turn around. 
lay down on a back just to a couple of poses and get into yoga nidra let's do both poses raise both legs up keeping the knee straight raise both hands up keeping the elbow straight look toenail through the fingernails navasan or naukasan or boat pose and very slowly bring the body back down onto the floor bring both palms beside the hips next we'll do uttan padasan next inhalation raise both legs up toes pointing toward the ceiling legs 90 degree with the floor in about 15 seconds we will start lowering the legs inch by inch while lowering the legs couple of points we will stop okay, start lowering the legs now and bring it to 45 degree and hold there make sure the knees straight and toes pointed out okay now start lowering a little bit down and bring it to 10 degree so just two three inches over the floor hold there hold there and then very slowly gently let them rest on the floor and lay down in a shavasan spread both hands away from the body palms face, facing the ceiling next we'll do the uh, matsyasan you can raise the upper body up you can do either with the folded legs in like cross leg position or you can do with the straight leg but if you are doing straight leg then stretch the toes out meantime I will set up the yoga nidra audio and you guys complete the matsyasan fish pose for another 10 seconds should keep our upper body up as high as possible and top of the head back onto the floor so we can look into the back wall as well okay so should be back get into shavasan and get ready for the yoga nidra can turn your lights off dim them or if you want to cover yourself up and then follow just the word by word instructions शरीर को पूरी तरह से फ्लोर पर सरेंडर कर दिया है शरीर का पूरा वजन फ्लोर पर ट्रांसफर हो रहा है और अभी मैं जो जो बॉडी पार्ट्स का नाम बोलूं वहां अपनी अवेयरनेस लाना है और वो बॉडी पार्ट को रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे Relax all your toes one by one. Relax both your feet, sole, heels. Relax your calf muscles, your lower legs. knee joint now bring your awareness on your thighs
relax your thighs. So now both your legs are completely relaxed. Now bring your awareness on your lower abdomen. Nabi se niche ke sabhi muscles relax kar denge. और ध्यान लाएंगे नाभि के ऊपर अपने बेली बटन पर ध्यान लाएंगे अभी अवेयरनेस लाएंगे पेट पर पेट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे पेट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स पर रिलैक्स कर देंगे अवेयरनेस थोड़ी ऊपर की तरफ शिफ्ट करेंगे और चेस्ट के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे चेस्ट के सभी ऑर्गेन्स भी रिलैक्स कर देंगे लंग्स हार्ट दोनों हाथ रिलैक्स कर देंगे दोनों हाथ की सभी फिंगर्स दोनों पाम्स हथेली दोनों रिस्ट दोनों लोअर आर्म्स एल्बोस अपर आर्म्स दोनों शोल्डर्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे और अभी चेस के सेंटर में ध्यान लाएंगे फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी और अभी ध्यान लाएंगे गले के ऊपर और गले के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे फिर फेस पर ध्यान लाएंगे और फेस के सभी मसल्स रिलैक्स करते जाएंगे चीन रिलैक्स करेंगे लिप्स दोनों चीक्स रिलैक्स कर देंगे नोज दोनों इयर्स दोनों आईज आईब्रोज फोरहेड एंड टॉप ऑफ द हेड फील द वाइब्रेशन इन योर बॉडी योर होल बॉडी इज रिलैक्स नाउ नाउ वी विल चेंट थ्री ओम और ओम के वाइब्रेशन पूरे शरीर में महसूस करेंगे नाभि से स्टार्ट करते हुए ओम बोलेंगे और वाइब्रेशन पूरे शरीर में फील करेंगे स्टार्ट ब्रेथ इन ब्रेथ 
ഹൃദയം presence in your body om ki vibrations sharir ke andar bhi hai aur sharir ke bahar bhi hai movement karke ye vibration ko disturb nahi karenge आनंद की अनुभूति करेंगे परम शांति का अनुभव करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हैप्पी हैप्पी महसूस करेंगे अपने आप को एकदम हेल्दी महसूस करेंगे ग्रेटिट्यूड की फीलिंग कि भगवान ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है अभी जो फीलिंग्स है उसे बनाए रखेंगे धीरे से बॉडी के प्रति सजग हो जाएंगे हेड को साइड टू साइड मूव करेंगे शरीर को एक स्ट्रेच दे देंगे दोनों हाथ ऊपर की तरफ खींच लेंगे Rub the palms against each other. Generate urja. Make them warm. Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Move the palms over the eyes. Gently massage the eyelids. Open and close the eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes. Fold at both the knees. Roll the body onto the right side. and stay there for about 2 to 3 normal breath then with help of both the hands very slowly bring the body up back into any comfortable sitting posture we will do anulom vilom pranayam nade shuddhi pranayam or we can call it alternate breathing fashion vishnu mudra on one hand Inhale on left, exhale on right. Inhale on right, exhale on left. So left to right, right to left. So left hand can be in Vayu Mudra or Dhyan Mudra. We try to deep breathe in and deep breathe out, alternatively. complete when you breathe out on left and we can bring both palms on top of each other keep the back straight close the eyes till end we will chant three mahamrutyunjaya mantra followed by a short meditation during meditation try to keep awareness at the crown of the head the sahasrara chakra that that will end by one omkar chant and closing prayer
यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकम बंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृताक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमेव बंदना मृत्यो ओंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धन उर्वाकमेव बंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता सर्वे सन्तु निरामय सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंत मा कचि दुखपाभवे ओ शाति 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 Cover the eyes and face under the palms. Gently massage the eyelids with the palms, and then open and close the eyes few times in dark. Slowly slide the hands down as we gently open the eyes. Rub the palms one more time, and we will place them on top of the head, back of the head, shoulders, arms, trunk. legs throughout the body to spread the energy within hari om tat sat shri guru bhyo namaha happy weekend and i'm going to let you guys unmute hey bye all are unmute जय श्री कृष्ण सी ओ टू मॉर्निंग जय श्री कृष्ण थैंक यू थैंक यू बाय जय श्री कृष्ण जय श्री कृष्ण